Hey everyone, welcome to the updates for August 2017. I waited until after KI Live just in case they revealed some interesting things, which they did. And I was tweeting about it a little bit during the actual live stream, but I had to leave after about an hour because I had class at night. I know, it's like a once a week class, but we'll talk more about that towards the end of this video. We're going to start with KI Live and uh, the Wizard 101 news because that's the main thing that they went over in this. And I did look at the VOD to see what I missed, and apparently I missed some kind of KI Live, the first dab on it. I don't know. I'm not going to talk about that, but you can go look at it if you want. But KI Live was actually filled with a lot of little teasers and uh, hints at things that we could see in the game later on. Some of these things uh, probably we won't see until a later update probably next year and they even talked about what they're thinking of doing uh, not exactly but just they're thinking of things to do for their 10 year anniversary of the game because that's a long time next month in September is going to be Wizards ninth year and I mean that's that, that in and of itself nine years is a good accomplishment so 10 years I mean yeah that's, that's gonna be crazy but they're planning on that uh, the ninth uh, birthday celebration is going to be happening next month and let me tell you there is going to be a lot of good contests and giveaways going on that month I already have some stuff that I will be giving away next month so stay tuned for that I'll be giving out more details as we get closer to the actual birthday month and I mean their birthday I think is actually early in the month but they continue with the celebration throughout the entire month so Next month is going to be good. There's going to be some a lot of contests and a lot of ways to earn crowns. So definitely uh, be on the lookout for that. But starting things off, uh, I'm just going to talk about some of the things that I found interesting that they mentioned that we hadn't really heard about yet from uh, King's Isle for future updates. So the big thing that uh, was announced was the potential. This isn't 100%, but it is something that they're thinking about implementing is the barbershop and they even called it a barbershop so i mean i guess yeah that is a pretty good name it is a good name um when i made my video on it i thought it was like okay this barbershop really cover everything that's going to be included in this and i don't know if that's going to be the official name for it but it's a placeholder name and i think it fits for now so they did say that this is something that people have been asking for for a long time that's when i uh when i created my video called the most requested feature uh, for wizard 101 right now it's true. This is something that people have wanted for a long time. This isn't just I made my video, you know, what, a few weeks ago, and now King's Isle is looking at it. I wasn't the one that originally came out with this idea. There's been so many other people that have talked about this, and you know, Scarks put it into uh, into a nice model so you can look at it and really conceptualize what this could be. And I feel like they took all of that and they really started to. Uh, look into it. Maybe they had been looking at it before, but now they're like, okay, we should really start, you know, pushing for this because it's something people want, and I think it's something that should happen. Um, and it's it's just a nice feature that would be uh, what a lot of people want in the game. I mean, I would definitely use it. It's something useful, and I feel like a lot of people would benefit from it. So that is something that they did announce uh, would be happening at some point. They're working on it, and we probably see it next year sometime it's not something that they would put into the fall update but i'm glad because i'm glad that they're listening to players and i don't want people to say that it was my idea because it's not i just made the video on it i compiled a lot of other people's ideas into my video and then of course i gave my own opinion on it because that's what i do you know i look and see what people are talking about in this community and if i feel like it's something that i want to talk about as well like i have my own unique opinions on it then i'll throw it all into one video and that's what you saw with the barbershop so i'm glad that we did that and i'm glad that king's is responding to it so that's really good so that was probably one of the biggest things that they uh, talked about the other thing that they mentioned but they didn't really go into detail was that there's going to be some kind of new side dungeon soon and i'm excited for that because uh, people have been talking about this that we haven't actually had a dungeon that has all good gear for a while and if i was on my storm i could really like show you guys should i go on my storm i don't know i like where i'm at in, in cyclops i feel like i'm at peace here in the cyclops lane but i could go on my storm and show you guys but you've already seen my storm gear if you've looked at my other videos and i still use pieces of darkmore and a lot of people still use pieces of the darkmore gear which is level 100 
and we're currently at you know, level 120 but Darkmoor came out you know I don't know what what exactly it was but it had to be you know a few years ago right so Darkmoor has been out for a few years and the only major upgrades that we've seen have been from the rat had some good gear and there was some good gear from packs Professor's horde pack has some good gear but there hasn't been any staple places for like overall gear drops as you go through the game there's a few dungeons that really give you like like all the gear the main three pieces hat row boots all of those are good for that level and I could I could just go give you some examples Mount Olympus is level 30 like all the Mount Olympus gear is really good for 30 I mean I'm sure there's other pieces of gear that kind of rival it but that's the main place is Mount Olympus for that we've got waterworks at 60 that's like the staple right there and then Tartarus at 90 but that's not even necessary anymore because you can just get to 100 and then Darkmar so that's kind of the basis for gear and we had one for 100 we haven't had one since that and I'm excited for, so basically they would go to 130 right and then we would have a dungeon for 130 gear I feel like that in conjunction could be really nice I don't know if it would be a side dungeon for it probably wouldn't be for 120 because by that point we'd probably have uh, 130 gear so if, if they're gonna take it 10 more levels which I assume they will so that's something to look forward to side dungeon that I'm hoping has some good gear that could last a while because we need like that next step and because we had it a lot before level 100 and like level 90 and then we quickly had another one at level 100 and we haven't really had one since then so I'm talking like a dungeon that gives a wide range of gear that's good not like spread out all over the place because people use like the crocopatra hat the rattlebones robe like all spread out it's nice when they give us one dungeon that's difficult I mean Darkmoor was difficult when it came out like don't get me wrong on that one. It was. They've nerfed it since then. But a place that is fairly difficult, a unique experience, like Darkmoor was really unique. It was its own kind of little side world, too, that had this dungeon. So I enjoyed that, and I hope they do something like that again. Because that was fun, and I know some people don't like Darkmoor, but it has the best gear in the game, and I farmed it a lot. But overall, I think the experience was good. I'm glad it was a challenge. So something like that. Those are like the two main things that uh, were teased and I don't think there's anything else that was like really big that they were talking about they never went over the shadow school or anything like that I'm not sure when we'll be seeing that update they didn't even talk about it but they didn't tease anything for a new world or anything like that but they did tease some other like smaller updates um, that could be happening soon so that is it with the KI live news uh, other things I guess I'll just talk about things that have been happening with me this month uh, Tara and I saw each other not too long ago, and from that trip we put out the Q&A that we did. We answered a few of your guys' questions for that. That Q&A video, like the original one that I posted answer, or asking you guys to put questions that we would answer, uh, that had like 900 comments. It might have a 1,000 by now, so that was a lot. We tried to go through those and pick some good ones. So that is the Q&A video that is up on the channel. You can check that out. A lot of people already watched it, and uh, I'm sure you guys enjoyed seeing that. But... That was a fun trip just that we did right after my semester ended for summer and I took my final the next day I left. So that was super stressful for me getting everything done, uh, preparing videos. I prepared a week's worth of videos before leaving for that so I would have videos while I was gone. So that's always really stressful for me when I have to prepare a bunch of videos and deal with school. But I managed it and here we are. Uh, I've already started my next semester. Um, my degree is cybersecurity. I, I probably have mentioned that, but I like to mention it again because people always ask. I'm in cybersecurity. I have two more semesters of it, including this semester, so I'll be done in May of next year. And I'm taking four classes this semester, three next, and that's it. I'm done. I will also get a minor in computer science because we have to take a lot of computer science classes to get this degree anyway. It's kind of, uh, it's kind of both combined, but. That's what I'm doing. So taking four classes, gonna be continuing to do YouTube because I do have time for it. I only have three days a week of classes, so I usually can find time to do that. But that's uh, that's basically what I'm gonna be doing. I mean, trying to create as much YouTube content as I can. I've been posting daily, so I try to post daily. I don't think that'll change unless something happens, then I won't be able to post. But usually I go for one video a day unless something else happens. That one either won't let me post, or two something 
in the game happens that I have to cover, then I'll post two videos, but that's kind of rare. So that's it with me. Um, Tara and I also in the Q&A talked about a new channel that we're going to be uh, creating. It's already created. You guys can actually sub to it. I'll put a link in the description. Go check that out. It's going to be a vlog channel. I don't know what's going to happen with it yet, but maybe you'll see a video in there at some point because Tara and I are planning on seeing each other in October. So maybe we'll post our first video then. I also want to post another gaming video with her. Like, and by gaming, I mean, like, co-op gaming. Like, we sit uh, together on, like, a couch and just play a game. Like, Overcooked again. So, and then I added a little bit. It'll be funny. That's, that's what I want to do. But we can't do that because, you know, long-distance relationship and all of that. But thank you guys for uh, all the support on my videos over the summer. I know I already kind of said that. But looking back on it, it was really good. And I can see that people now are back in school and not watching as much. But that's all right. That's what always happens in August. And then I'm sure it'll pick back up. Uh, in September a little bit and then October is going to be a good month so I'm really excited for that but that is it don't want to make this video too long because I could talk forever about all this stuff but thank you guys for all the support on all the videos that I've created over the summer and in August as well because it's been really good and uh, I can't thank you guys enough for all that so that is going to do it for me with this video leave a like you guys stuck all the way through listening to me talk about whatever I mean it's just been whatever comes to my head and whatever I find interesting in these update videos but thanks so much subscribe if you're new and i'll see you all next time